Okay. Um, good evening, Evaristo. Are you there? Evaristo? Welcome, Ana Molina. Hi. You hear me? I can hear you. Give me a second. Okay. Hi. Hello. So I can hear you now. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. And you? I'm fine too. Okay, welcome to the video conference for today's class. Thank you. Okay, uh, we're going to wait uh, just three minutes and then we're going to start with the class, okay? So we're going to okay. start at, um, at eight o'clock, okay? Okay. Okay, let's see. Uh, welcome, Jose Mariano. Hello, welcome. Good evening, teachers. Nice to meet you again. Nice <laughs> to evening. see you. Good evening, mister. Okay, welcome. So, uh, now I can see you, Evaristo. Hello. Hey. Good evening. Okay, good evening. Okay, well, today? welcome to the, to, the, to the class. Sorry, what do you say? How are you tonight? Ah, I'm fine. <laughs> so uh, we're just waiting uh, for your classmates and then we're going to start with a, a video conference. But tell me, what do you do today? Okay. Practicing at on the platform. You have been practicing? Oh, that's good. Yeah. Nice. But, uh, I have a problem with the, with the sentence. Let okay, we can discuss it. If you have your, if you have the sentence, we can discuss it right now. Yeah, let me, let me, let me see the, which one. Okay, very good. Okay, let's see. Uh, welcome, Sarah. How are you? Hello. Hi. Mike. Hello. <laughs> Good evening. How are you? I find thing uh -huh. is first time in English. Uh, you, you are uh, new in this um, in this video conference. It's first time this day. I ah, okay. I work in uh, all week. Oh, okay, okay. So welcome, welcome to to the pre advanced level. Okay, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice. What to is meet your you. name? 
Uh, my name is Wilmer Antonio Granados. Um, I'm your teacher here in the in this course, uh, and I will be guiding you uh, during this process. We're going to be taking um, a virtual classes, in, in this case in, in Zoom, um, the from Monday to Thursday. Okay, and all the video okay. conferences, the video conferences are going to be at uh, eight o'clock. Okay. So welcome, and I hope that you can uh, enjoy the video conference and you can learn a lot of things here. Let's see. Um, That's the sentence. Okay, I, I'm seeing the sentence. A, a hole in the ozone layer has been created through the use of CFC in products like hairspray. Okay, what's wrong with that? I don't know. It's uh, the platform is so incorrect. Okay, let me see why. I will try to look for it. Uh, but because it's for general purposes, I will copy and paste this sentence and I will write it down in a, a whiteboard. Just, I, uh, just give me a second and I will show you everybody. Okay. We are going to see what's wrong with this sentence. Ooh, that, look, but it's so sure to me. us. Mommy, look. Okay, let's see. That sentence. Um, I think the sentence is correct, but let me check uh, why the platform is is uh, marking you ruined. Um, Mr. Evaristo, um, can you please help yes, me with the number that correspond to the to the activity? For instance, in this case, I don't know if, if, if it is 2.0 or the first topic, 1.0. Uh, let me see, 2.2. 2. Okay, give me a second, I will check here. But uh, what about the rest, mister? Did you complete it? Or is just the number four? Is the number four is the, the instruction is rewrite the sentence. Okay, okay, okay very good. Uh, and what is the answer that you have? Can you share to us? What do you think the, what do you think about the answer in this case? What is the right one? Mm, I think that one is right, but I don't know. No, I mean, it, your answer, because mm -hmm. that's the, the, the sentence that you have to rewrite, okay? The use, ah, I mean, give me a second. Hold, uh, got it. Okay. Sorry, teacher, what do you need? Okay, um, no, I got it, I got it. Uh, the problem here is the platform has a, a, a another, I was checking the information here, and the problem is that the platform shows a different answer that does, uh, do not correspond with the ones that we have there. Uh, okay, so don't worry, I will report that uh, to the uh, to the technical support, and I will tell them that something is wrong with that sentence. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yes, because I'm I'm checking here that uh, there is a problem. It's showing a, a different answer, and do not correspond to the one that is 
then I'm a four in this case. Okay, and what about the, the forum? Uh, do you practice in the forum? Do you, do you share some comments there? Yes or not? Not yes. teacher. Not yet. Yeah. Not yet. I, I checked some of you um, in the exercise number one, in the video number one. So I, I saw some comments there uh, and I was checking and I will give you a feedback and maybe uh, tomorrow morning. So you are going to have your feedback. Okay, uh, right now, what we're going to do. Teacher, is... I'm sorry. Tell me. Uh, what you what unit are we going for? Ah, okay, okay. Um, we uh, study the unit number uh, number one uh, on okay. Monday and, and also Tuesday. So, and we start with the unit uh, number two yesterday. This is the second topic. Um, it is supposed that in the middle of the course, you're going to have uh, um, an exam that you have to solve. Uh, you can check um, the video conference in, in YouTube. I will share to you the videos. Uh, maybe it, it can be helpful for you. So, uh, but I will do it in uh, the WhatsApp group. I don't know if you are there in the WhatsApp group. Are you there? Did you join? Them? Yes, uh, I am. I am in group. The WhatsApp. Okay, very good, amazing. Okay. So I will share the videos there uh, because I am finished unit unit one unit two. Unit two. Okay, it's okay. So uh, it doesn't matter if you finish the unit one and the unit two. Okay, you can you can solve uh, the complete course if you want. This week or other week. Huh? No, it doesn't this matter. This week, finish unit one. No, it's not an schedule. There is not a schedule to solve the exercise in the platform. What you have to do is work in your uh, free time. So if you uh, go through the unit number three, it doesn't matter. But during the video conference, we are going to see a specific topics uh, that are related to the to the ones that we have in a platform. Um, the thing is that you manage your time, okay? You decide how much time do you want to expand there in the, in the platform and uh, how far uh, uh, you go to, uh, through, the, through the course, okay? So, so don't worry, if you take, I mean, if you solve the unit number three uh, and if you solve the, the, the exam too, don't worry. But I, uh, what I can do is just uh, uh, a suggestion to you. Um, you can be developing uh, the exercise while we're taking and the, well, while we are studying the, the, the topics during the video conference. But this is just a suggestion because you can solve it in your free time. Okay, you uh, can solve unit one, two, three, doesn't matter. Uh, that's the any time that you have available to, to work on it. Okay, thank you. Okay, very good. So, um, well, I will stop sharing this and I will show you um, the PPT, the PowerPoint presentation. And, and I remember that we left the topic yesterday in a passive with prepositions. Let me start this, give me a second. Okay, there it is. Let's see. Okay, here we have. Um, we were discussing yesterday about the prepositions. Um, in this case, we, we saw uh, the prepositions by, 
because of, as a result of, due to, and through. And we check some examples. In this case, uh, we have the example that says too many trees has been cut down because of, of the upper building. Okay, so, uh, and something that you have to keep in mind about these prepositions is that uh, all of them have a, silly, a singular meaning. Uh, they do not uh, mean the same, but uh, the meaning is similar, okay? So, also we're discussing about the present continuous passive. In this case is subject plus is, are, uh, plus being, plus the past participle. Uh, moreover, we saw the structure of the present perfect passive. Uh, we discussed, we were discussing that, uh, that the structure um, of this perfect passive, it's composed by subject plus has and have been, I mean, or have been plus past participle form. Um, we check this information. I don't know, uh, can you please uh, remind me if we left the class in this slide uh, or we go to the following. So can you please help me with that? You remember? This is the last slide this that we saw. Last. Okay, but did, did I explain all those things to you or, um, or we just uh, stop here? Only, only the the first, the first sentence. The air is being polluted by fumes okay. from the cars and trucks. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you, Mister. So uh, that's mean that the other sentence that we have here, uh, we didn't take it. Uh, okay, we're going to to do that uh, tonight, and we're going to start with the second sentence that it says: serious streets are being damaged." as a result of heavy traffic, okay? Um, to know something about the structure with passive prepositions, we need to identify, uh, give me a second, I will use the marker. Mm -hmm. This case here, okay. In this part, well, this sentence, okay. Can you help me? Uh, identifying what kind of sentence are we using here? Is present continuous passive. Present continuous passive, okay, very good. Uh, so we can identify the elements because we are using the verb to be, in this case, are, or, uh, uh, and also uh, when we have the passive, uh, the present, I mean the, uh, the present uh, continuous um, passive, uh, we can use uh, the verb to be in, in the form of is, okay? So it's another way to do it. And also we have the preposition, the preposition as a result of, um, if we look at this sentence, with prepositions, we are connecting to in both sentence. Serious streets are, uh, are being damaged, okay? That's the first sentence. And the second sentence is as a result of heavy traffic. Um, let's check the present perfect passive. When we use the present perfect passive, uh, what we need to do is use the verb have plus been and we need to use a past participle. In this case, we have jam uh, and the sentence says the, the roadway has been jammed because of people dependence on cars. Okay. And then we have the, the the sentence number four, that it says, many parts have been lost through overbuilding. Okay, many parts. 
If you notice, the same structure, have been in loss. This is, remember, the past participle form. Uh, then we have the homeless have been dis displaced, the same structure, have been and the past participle, okay? Uh, we have here the preposition uh, due to, through, because of, okay? Um, do you remember, let, just to check, do you remember the structure? Uh, oh, well, can you repeat me the structure that we had for uh, these sentences without seeing uh, the examples there? For instance, uh, the present continuous passive. Can you help me with that? Uh, someone who wants to participate uh, can share to us the structure, what we need there in present continuous passive. Well, in the, in that that, okay, Miss uh, <laughs> Ana Molina. Well, in that, well, in oh, that well, case, the structure is, okay. In, in this case, the present continuous, the, the structure is subject plus is or are plus being okay. and uh, plus verb and past possible. Okay, very good. Okay, nice. Uh, no, the other one, the past perfect, passive. I mean, present perfect, passive. Has that subject? The subject plus has or had plus been the past participle and mm -hmm. the verb. Okay. Very good. So uh, we're going to go through a practice. Okay, you're going to construct uh, one sentence using um, each of the, uh, of the structures that we have here. The present continuous, passive, but you are going to use um, the preposition. You can use, uh, I will show you the list and you can work on it. And let's see here. You can use by, because of, as a result of, due to, and through. Okay, you can use those uh, prepositions. So uh, you're going to have five minutes to complete both sentence. Remember, we're going to use um, in the in present continuous passive, one sentence, and present perfect passive, Second sentence. It's the instruction clear? Yes. Okay, very good. Yes. After you finish, after you finish uh, your sentence, please post it in the uh, chat of this video conference. Post both sentence, okay, together. And the time start right now. What are you doing? Dame el teléfono. No. 
Espérate, hija. You finish. I am studying right now. Uh, Sara? Sí? Hello? Are you working on the sentences? Sara? Oh, repeat, please. I don't understand. Okay. Are you working on the sentences? Um, are you working with the exercise that I, that, um, that I left to you right now? Um, this day, I am only view. Uh, I don't understand. Okay. Uh, let me help you. Um, <clears throat> um, ¿Estás completando uh, los, las oraciones eh, ahorita, las que les dejé? La... Eh, eh, ¿A dónde las envió? Porque no tengo nada. No, no, no. Tú tienes, tú tienes que construirlas. Oh, ah, en base a esto. Exactamente. Tú puedes utilizar okay, present perfect passive. Eh, o el okay. past perfect passive. Y la que viva el chat. Exactamente. Ajá. Ok, ahorita, right now.
Okay, very good. Um, I see that you already um, finished with the exercise. Um, and I've been checking some of the sentences that you post here. Um, for instance, Jose Mariano, uh, the, play, uh, the players are being dominated by the other team. Very good. Uh, present perfect passive. The fighter has been beaten by his opponent. Very good, excellent, good, good uh, use of the prepositions. Uh, let's see another one. I will I, I will check just uh, two or three okay participations, and then uh, after the video conference, I will be checking all of them. Uh, let's see, Sara Sandoval. I have been very busy with my work. Uh, I have been very busy with my work. Okay, um, Zara, uh, in this case, we need to use a uh, prepositions. The, the sentence- yes. Okay. I, don't, I write other sentences. Oh, let me check. <laughs> Okay, I have been very raised as a result of hard work. Okay, uh, what we can do here is just omit very, okay? But uh, the sentence, it's okay. Uh, just delete very and that's all. Uh, thank you, very good. Uh, let's see someone else. Uh, Mr. Ramirez has been very patient with Bill. Uh, okay. Let's see, in this case, Neftali, we need to use um, a, a verb in past participle because very patient is not a verb. Uh, the, and also we need to use a preposition. Uh, the prepositions that you have in, in, in your screen, by, because, of, as a result of, due to, and through, okay? And let's see the last one, Gabriela Veranice. Um, okay, the house has been inspected by police. Very good, excellent, good, um, good sentences, very good. We have to do just some changes there and they are going to be, okay, well, the, ch the changes that I already told you, um, but the sentence are okay, okay? So, very good, let's continue with this. Okay. In this case, this is the exercise that, that, that we have been developing. But you use the chat, okay? So, tell me, do you have any questions for me right now till this moment? Is everything okay? Or there is something that you want to? Okay, Mr. Oh, Ramirez. Yes, I, I, when I was doing a, a sentence. Okay. I have writing uh, one, but I, I don't know if it's if correct to use uh, the car is being dirty due to the con construction dust, the dirty, I think. I dirty, think but in this case, Mr. Uh, Mr. In this case, um, we're using um, a, a good structure, but it, it, it is not a, a passive structure, okay? Uh, because the passive always have the uh, verb in past participle. In dirty, it's no verb. Okay, dirty is an adjective. Uh, in this case, we need to we need to look for a verb, and we are going to construct that sentence in um, in this case. Uh, in this case, it, it is a present continuous passive, uh, or it could be a present perfect passive. Okay, let's see. Uh, can you can you please? 
repeat uh, repeat me the sentence. I, I will use a whiteboard. Okay. The car is being dirty due to the construction dust. Oh, being. Construction. Ah, okay. Uh, you mean being, right? So in this case, yeah. Okay, in this case, the only thing that we need is just the past participle here. The car is being. Think about a, a past participle. Yes. Okay. Think about a past participle that we can use there in, in that space. Uh, that has to to be a, a verb. In right. You're right. Uh, I don't know. I I think in social, but it's dirty. Okay, dear, um, dirty in this case is um, a, it's a it's an adjective because we're saying that something is dirty. Okay. Uh, in this case, uh, teacher dirty can't a uh, past participle. Okay, yes, we, we need a past participle, uh, verb, okay? Okay. Uh, Mr. Mr. Jose, uh, okay. Uh, remember the structure. We, we're going to do it in this way. Uh, Gadget. Let me, let me use this. Yeah, I think that this is how to, to be a verb. It, like uh, the, the I, I say the car is being damaged. Oh, damage, yes. Okay, damage another, is it? Another, yeah. Okay, damage, yeah. yes. In this case, this sentence is, in it is in past participle. Uh, sorry. Can you see the, the sentence uh, there? Yes. Okay. So instead of dirty, because dirty is an adjective, like my car is dirty, okay? Dirty. I'm referring that um, a characteristic of my car in that, in that moment, uh, or the dirty car, if we use it in that way. Dirty means um, uh, it's like an, a, a, a characteristic that, that we can uh, say about or car. And that characteristic becomes an adjective. So, but in this case, uh, the sentence that, that, that we could read, uh, the car is being damaged due to the construction. So we're using the present uh, continuous passive. Uh, what is the characteristic of the passive sentence? That all the, the uh, well, the whole sentence is composed by it. Um, the subject is are the auxiliary being in this case and the past participle. In the past participle, um, it's a verb. Okay, so we have to manage that. Then, uh, if we want to construct. A, a present continuous passive with a prepositions we can use due to in this case you use it and a, in the actions um, I mean the the informations that we are uh, that we want to add to that sentence in this case the car is being damaged okay why? Due to construction, okay. So 
Uh, is your, let me check here. I mean, scratch it, stay it. Okay, very good. So, um, let's see. Um, there is someone here wants uh, another questions for me. Sure. In this case, Bain uh, is is for the off structure. Always going is. Um, you mean Bain? Bain. Uh huh. Yeah. The car is Bain. Damage. Bain's always going in the structure. Yes, Bain. It's no change. That, yes, the, the only thing that we can change, and that's going to depend on, on, on the subject, is the verb to be, okay? Instead of, uh, for instance, I would use, let me see if I can use the, the pencil. Give me a second, I, I will try to do it. Um, let's see. If, if I use, for instance, uh, instead of the card, I use uh, the cards in this way. Mm -hmm. The cars, because I'm using plural in this case, cars, I have to change the verb to be instead of using is, I'm going to use are. are. Okay, because I'm using a, 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 a plural noun. Okay, when are plural? Are, are being. I mean, sorry. What do you say, Miss Sara? When the object is plural, change with with R. Exactly. When the subject is plural, in this case, uh, we are going to use R. If the subject is singular, mm -hmm. like car, that is just one car, uh, we are going to use is. Okay, so and then we this word uh, it's needed. It, it doesn't the same. change. It it doesn't change. Okay, then we are going to use a past participle, past participle, and the preposition that we have here in this case due the to complement. due to and the information that we want to add. Okay. Just that. Let's see. Uh, I will show you again the PPT. Well, no, I will show you um, a video that you have to watch to complete and the following exercise. Give me a second. Okay, please pay attention to this video. Uh, please, this is... I have a question. Okay, tell me. What the meaning because of? Because is por qué? And because of is the same. Uh, okay, um, because of, in, in, in this case, in the sentence, means uh, a causa de. Okay, okay. thank you. It's just because of the context. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Listen. Any uh, trees have been cut down because. I mean, sorry. Please pay attention to this video, and then we are going to uh, check the check the information that we listen here. Uh, let's see. Hi, after you listen to the audio program and watch the video with the explanation, we are sure you will understand how to describe causes using by, 
because of, due to, as a result of, and through. Stay with us. Passive with prepositions. Present continuous passive. The air is being polluted by fumes from cars and trucks. City streets are being damaged as a result of heavy traffic. Present perfect passive. The roadways have been jammed because of people's dependence on cars. Many parks have been lost through overbuilding. The homeless have been displaced due to overcrowding in city shelters. Before we go deep into the topic of passive with prepositions, I will divide the topic in two parts to make it easier for you to understand. Number one, present continuous passive. Number two, present perfect passive. I will begin now with number one. Let me show you how to form the present continuous passive. Subject plus is or are being plus past participle. What does the present continuous passive do? It describes an action that is in progress right now. For example, we may say, too many trees are being cut down right now, these days, or water is being contaminated. Ready for number two? Present perfect passive. This is how to form this tense. Subject plus has or have, been plus past participle. We use present perfect passive to describe something that started before the present. The exact time isn't important. For example, too many trees have been cut down recently or in the last years. In either case, we will add a preposition right after the past participle. We may add by, because of, as a result of, due to, through. Let's then add a preposition to our last example. Too many trees have been cut down because of overbuilding. Note, these prepositions have similar meaning. Remember we have studied passive voice before? So let's make a quick review on the active and passive sentences. Active voice. Air pollution is threatening the health of people. Air pollution is the cause. Is threatening is the verb. The health of people is the object. Number one is air pollution and health of people is number two. So what we do now is exchange one and two, the object and the cause. Then write a preposition, the health of people by air pollution. Notice we left a blank space on the verb. That's because we need to identify the original tense. In this case, it's present continuous. And write the verb in that tense. For example, is or are being. Then take the original verb, example, threatened, and make it past participle of it. We will be left out with is or are being plus threatened. We want you to do the next exercise. Rewrite the following sentences using passive plus the prepositions given. Remember, you may do them on our discussion box as well as in your notebooks. Number one, air pollution is threatening the health of people in urban areas. Bye. Number two, livestock farms have contaminated soil and underground water because of. Number three, the burning of gas, oil, and coal has created acid rain as a result of. The use of CFCs in products like hairspray has created a hole in the ozone layer through. Number five, the destruction of rainforest is harming rare plants and wildlife through. Number six, the growth of suburbs has eaten up huge amounts of farmland due to. due to. Okay, uh, we're going to stop here. Uh, here we have sentence in active voice. And we're going to see what are 
I mean, what is an active voice? Uh, when we write a sentence, like for instance, a pollution. Teacher, is, tell me. Uh, these, things, these sentences are in active voice. Yes, those are active. They voice. need change a passive voice. Exactly. That's what we are going to do uh, in this sentence. But let me explain you first uh, how we compose a passive voice using this sentence in active voice. Okay. So if you notice the. You have example, us. Tell me. Tell me, Miss. You help us. No, I'm, I'm not going to help you. Just I'm going to explain you how to change the active, uh, the active voice to passive voice, okay? Just, I will give you the, the, okay. the first example. Uh, well, you already have the first example here. That is, a pollution is threatening the health of people, okay? So we're going to use this, this slide, okay? And then you're going to work on the example that we have in, in, the, in the second slide of this uh, video. Check it out this. Air pollution and the health of people. Uh, is threatening. We have three elements here that we need to identify in each of the sentences. Cause, where, and object. Those three elements, okay? Cause, where, and object. When we have uh, these three elements in that order, that means we have an active voice, okay? In this case, the cause, air pollution, the verb is written in, and the object, the hell of people, are the ones who compose the active voice. Um, if you notice in this sentence, is construct in present continuous. Why? Because we're using is plus the verb with ing. Okay? Um, the, how we construct the present continuous? using a subject, using the verb to be, and using also the verb with ing for, okay? That's how we construct a sentence. Why I'm telling you this? Because depend on the sen the, the, that's depend on the sentence that we're going to construct a, the sentence to, a, to um, the form of, of passive voice. Uh, if you notice, <laughs> check it out this. If you notice the sentence that we have uh, below, the passive voice, we have changed the object at the beginning. In this case is uh, we, we line, uh, with a pink line. And we uh, put it at the beginning, the health people. Then we change the air pollution, that is with the, the yellow uh, line. And we put it at the end. And in this case, we are going to use by as a preposition, but also you can use one of the other uh, prepositions that we already discussed, okay? Because of, we can use um, due to, okay? And what are the other ones? I, I don't remember. Because of. Okay, one. By. By, okay, two. Do two, two. Okay, do you two? Three. Through. Through, very good. And the last. As a result of. As a result, result of. of. And? That's it. Of. That's it. Okay, very good. So we can use one of them because they means, it means um, it, well, the meaning is similar. Okay, all of them. So instead of using by, you can use one of them. But as I told you, in active voice, we have the, the present continuous. That's mean that we're going to use the present continuous in the passive voice. But, but, but in this case, to construct the present continuous in passive, we need to use the verb to be plus been. And the main verb, in this case, uh, the verb with ing form, it's going to change to um, to past participle, okay? Um, for instance, instead of say, um, let me check one 
verb structure could be is working, okay? Uh, Mr. Alfaro is working, okay? That's a, a, a present continuous tense. If I change it to a, a passive voice, I'm going to say, instead of, instead of saying Mr. Uh, Mr. what? Miss, well, I'm going to use another, another last name. Mr. Um, Ramirez, okay? Mr. Ramirez is working, okay? If I change it to a passive boy, I'm going to say, Mr. Ramirez, um, just to, to, to put a, an example, okay? And remember that you have to change this. This is just an example. Uh, Mr. Ramirez is being work, uh, uh, or in this case, we are going to change um, the, the cows, um, um, the cows, and we are going to add due to schedule, okay? Uh, due um, in the sentence is going to be construct in this way. Um, the schedule of um, let me see. I, I will put a uh, a word. A I mean uh, a whiteboard to explain you in a better way. Uh, teacher, because uh, let's do it together. The first two. Uh, also, Miss Sandoval. Sí. Sí. Let's do it together. Yes. The first that, two sentences. Okay. The, uh, yes. Uh, I'm going to use that. That's the reason I'm going to use the 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 whiteboard. Okay. So can you see the whiteboard right now? Yes. Come? Yes. 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 Okay. Very good. Uh, check it out this. Um, okay, in this way. Can you see the sentence there? Yes. Yes, very good. Check it out, please. In this case, we're going to use um, a present uh, perfect because we're using have, okay? But we're going to identify the cows. This one. Uh, I'm going to use a different color. Give me a sec. Oh my god. Razor. I've stuck. Okay. The cows in this sentence, it is lice stock, stock farm. farms. Okay, we're going to do it in this way. Very good. So then we are going to identify the verb. Can you uh, identify the verb, the, the structure of the verb in this case? Is someone who wants to help me? No? So, as far as far. Have contaminate and also we are going to use the object, okay? The object, we are going to do it with this one. Uh, this uh, teacher, in this Sorry. case, we're saying active voice or passive okay. voice uh, use the present continuous passive. Uh, exactly, we're going to change the active voice to um, a passive voice. Check it out this. I'm sorry. Yes. Teacher. Tell me. 
but you are not using a preposition, are you? Yes, uh, no, because I'm using a, an active voice right now. This sentence is active voice. I will write it here. Okay, active thank voice. you. Active voice. Okay, I will leave it in that way. Active voice. This is an active voice. Okay, in active voice, you don't use. Uh, we don't use. We don't use the preposition. Okay, okay. we don't use Thank it. You. This is an active voice. Okay. What we're going to do is a passive voice. The passive voice is going to change. Instead of using um, livestock at the beginning, we're going to use <laughs> soil. Soil and water. Okay. So we're going to leave it in that way. Okay. Soil and underground water. We're going to use the structure of the verb in this case that is um, half contaminate. Is ben, is ben? In this case, we have a, a, a present perfect. Can you please help me with the present perfect? How is it constructed? Have been. Okay, have been, exactly. Have been. If we're going to use the the the, the main verb that is contaminate. Okay. And then after that, in this part, we're going to use. Uh, we're going to use. Uh, give me a second. The preposition. Yes, we're going to use the preposition. I, I will change it to a different color. Okay, there. No, Have been contaminated. Uh, can you help me with one preposition? Whatever, whatever you want. Because of? Because of? Let's see. Teacher, I'm okay. very confused right now because I think in pass pass boy. Uh, is press press and continue passive is vain in in this case change okay um uh, Ms. Sandoval we have two forms to uh, construct the 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 uh, the passive voice uh, in this case uh, the ones that we have been discussing that is uh, present progressive or present continuous and also mm -hmm. present perfect. Uh, we're going to use one of them depend on the sentence. Depend on the sentence. Okay. And the structure is going to be in a present progressive or present continuous, the structure is going to be mm -hmm. subject plus is, are, okay? One of, one of uh, those form of the verb to be, is R plus uh, the verb being in this case uh, uh, using the, the, the ing form and also at the end of that as the main verb is going to be the past participle okay I will give you an example is been work okay is been work that's one of the options uh, if we use in the in the active voice, if we use the present continuous, but if we use Thanks. okay, but if we use the present perfect in this case have contaminated, we are going to use in a passive voice have been plus the past participle. Okay, in this okay. case. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, I understand. Thanks. Okay, very good. So in this case, we are going to use have been contaminated and uh, you have to tell me uh, a preposition. 
Please. Because of. Because of. Okay. House. Of. And to complete the sentence, we are going to use soil, I mean, a uh, line stock form. We're going to use a different color in this case. Lie. In that way. So this part, this part is the one that we create, well, in this case, for the verb. Okay, is it clear how we construct uh, the passive boy? Yes, it's clear. Yes, yes, Thank sir. You. Yes. Thanks. Passive voice in that way. The passive voice. If you want, you can uh, make a screenshot to this uh, to these things, and you can take it into account while writing your sentences. Very good. So um, we're going to finish right now, and we're going to be talking um, till this coming Monday because tomorrow we won't have classes. Uh, we're going to, I, I'm going to see you uh, till Monday. Yes. And I uh, ask you to work on the exercise that you have in the platform. I will be checking uh, your progress and also I will be checking your participations in the forum. Uh, do you have any questions? Do you have any question? No, teacher, I don't no, have any question. Okay. Teacher. Uh, este, could, could you lead us world, world ships? Worships? Okay, I will share. Sí. A, okay, I will share to you a worship that I have about this topic. Uh, or but I'm or give to... me a name for study more th this weekend. Okay, very good. I will do it uh, through the WhatsApp group. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, very good. Good evening, teacher. Uh, good evening, mister. Good evening. See you good next evening. week. So, um, teacher. Okay. Tell me. In this good case, I yes, I can listen to you. Tell me. In this case, I, I need to start to work in the platform because I I don't have more any time to work because I have to study and work. So I'm going to start on Sunday or Saturday, if it's possible. Ah, you want the, the um, I mean, you want to work on the platform on Sunday and Saturdays? Yes. Okay, you can do it. Don't worry. You can do it. You, you, you uh, can access to the platform and you can work from Monday to Sunday in the platform. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Yes, you, you can. Ha you have access to it. Um, as I told you at the beginning, you don't need. Um, sure. Uh, sorry for not being in the previous classes. I am. Uh, I work very hard. Okay. Do, do not worry about it. Uh, um, you can check the video conference that we have recorded in YouTube, so you can uh, you can look for it. Or, well, I will send you the links to uh, the WhatsApp group and you can uh, watch it, okay? So don't worry. But okay. remember, Thank you. But, ah, oh, well, but you have to remember that you need the 80% of attendance uh, to um, in the video conference to get the certification, okay? So please, Try to do not miss the, the 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 following video conference that you that we are going to be uh, developing during this coming uh, I guess three weeks more. So and 
and also uh, try to work on the platforms, the, the, the activities that you have missed. Uh, please take it again and watch the video and solve all the exercises. Um, well, um, there is... Richard. Tell me. Excuse me, how much time do we have to finish the tax of the platform? Okay, you have till uh, this coming February 26. Uh, let me check the, the, that information, please. Give me a second. I have it in my email account. Let me check. That's because we need to identify the origin. It's not. I mean, you have till a uh, February 19 to finish all the exercise in the platform. If you do not finish the exercise uh, during this time, well, if you finish the, the exercise after uh, in, uh, February 19, you are going to miss uh, the certification. Even though if you have been in the in the video conference, you are going to miss the certification because you have to claim it uh, there. If you do not work, you have to uh, rejoin to, to to the to this level again. Take the classes again. So uh, please finish those exercises before February nineteen. There is another question. No teacher. No. Well, so uh, I will see you till Monday. Uh, if you want to uh, advance in, in the platform, you can do it. So, and then where you are going to be taking the, the, the video conference from Monday to uh, Thursday. So uh, have a nice night in Blessings to all of you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Thank you teacher. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Have a nice Good weekend, night. everyone. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Bye, you too.